People hate insects for all the obvious reasons. They're creepy, crawly, and simply disgusting. But besides the basic reasons for despising them, there is another strong reason. Some of them are extremely dangerous to humans. In today's video, you'll see lethal honeybees, tiny cute caterpillars that will kill you just by touching them, and lethal ants. So keep your guards up and keep your eyes open when you go out for tracking with your friends in the hills. So without any further delay, look at this list and keep yourself safe from these tiny but deadly insects. Bullet Ants Who would have thought ants, the smallest creatures on the planet, can be deadly? The bullet ant is the world's largest ant species. They're mostly found in Nicaraguan and Paraguayan rainforests. As you may have guessed, bullet ants get their name from their poisonous sting. After the bite, the victim feels as if he or she has been shot. A bullet ant's sting is 30 times more painful than that of a wasp or honeybee. So yeah, it's pretty bad. Locals refer to the 1-inch bullet ant as the 24-hour ant. It's due to the fact that one full day of pain is followed by its sting. Each colony of bullet ants has hundreds of members and they usually build their nests near the base of tall trees. Bullet ants also emit a foul odor when they come across a predator. If that trick didn't work, they'd all attack at the same time with a powerful sting. Travelers, beware! Botfly Botfly larvae are parasitic insects that live inside mammals. Unfortunately, the dangerous larva can also be found living beneath people's skin, causing terrible complications. Human botflies are primarily found in Central and South America and they are mainly responsible for myiasis, which causes severe changes in skin tissues. You must be thinking, how can they lay eggs beneath human skin? Well, our worst enemy mosquitoes add these creatures and their deadly actions. No surprises there. A type of botfly catches mosquitoes in mid-flight and attaches its egg to their stomachs. The eggs then burrow into the tiny wound left by the mosquito bite when it plants on a human skin. These eggs will eventually turn into larvae, which will dig their way out from beneath the skin. Ouch! Female botflies lay eggs inside the skin of mammals when they are young. The larvae penetrate the skin and spend more than 60 days in the subdermal zones of human skin. The patients are even able to feel larva moving beneath their skin. Just thinking about it is making us sick. When a larva's development is complete, it exits the body. A botfly can cause severe problems if it's not removed. The larva will eventually leave on their own if not treated. But believe us when we say they're painful. They have spines on their bodies, and as they grow bigger and bigger, those spines burrow into the skin. Patients with botfly infestations commonly describe the feeling of something moving beneath their skin as the larva feeds and grows. But this movement does not travel through the body. When the larva is fully grown, it falls to the ground and disappears in the soil. A hard race lesion with localized erythema, pain, and edema are signs and symptoms of botfly infections. Fleas Fleas are parasitic insects that feed on the blood of humans, birds, reptiles, and both wild and domestic animals. Fleas can irritate the skin of their hosts, causing itching. Fleas are about the size of a pen tip and reproduce very, very quickly. According to some estimates, the female flea lays as many as 2,000 eggs within a lifetime. Fleas in their early stages can devour up to 15 times their own weight in blood. The bites of fleas on the human body cause red pimples. They're most common around the waist, knees, and elbows. Flea bites are incredibly itchy and they can also cause infection. These pests infest a variety of surfaces in homes, including mattresses, cushions, and carpeting. Because younger fleas reside and feed on the host in beds and rugs, finding the pest is important to avoid an infestation. It may seem like we are exaggerating their danger, but trust us. These little blighters can be a handful. Puss Caterpillar Ah, what a cute caterpillar. Simply by looking at it, the puss caterpillar appears to be a helpless creature that you want to pet, hug, and give all your love to. But don't be fooled by its cute appearance. The soft hair covering this venomous insect is actually venomous spines with a powerful toxin that makes you feel like you've broken a bone after touching them. Along with the pain, you'll experience burning, swelling, blisters in the affected area, vomit, and most certainly, you will gasp for air while lying on the floor sobbing. This venomous caterpillar is found in the southeastern United States and Mexico. 
According to experts, if you accidentally touch one, use tape to remove the spines before the situation worsens. Although that's easier said than done, because you will be unable to move and will be fighting for your life. So do yourself a favor, don't ever touch this cute looking caterpillar. We can assure you that this can most certainly become one of the last things you will ever touch. It's okay to be curious about these creatures, but remember not to touch or pick up any caterpillars, especially those that are fuzzy or hairy. Fire Ants Fire ants exist in 285 different species over the world. They will sting the intruder repeatedly if they were disturbed and beware. The sting of a fire ant is also extremely painful. A fire ant sting causes a white pustule that can linger for weeks. Their venom would also cause a variety of skin problems. Fire ants typically attack in swarms of tens to hundreds of ants. Fire ant venom can also cause severe allergic reactions. When a human is stung by a fire ant, they will experience severe pain and burning. All the ants dwell together so when you disturb their habitat or step on a fire ant mound, it will result in a large number of stings all at once. For the next day, each sting will evolve into an irritating white blister. The skin in the direct proximity of the sting may swell, burn, or itch. Anaphylaxis is a rare but life-threatening reaction you may develop due to fire ant stings. People who are allergic to the venom of fire ants experience symptoms within minutes of being bitten. So if you love your life, we will advise you to constantly watch your step. You don't want an ant to kill you, do you? Asian Giant Hornet This 2-inch bug is not only scary but also quite large. However, if you believe that physical appearance doesn't matter, then my friend, you are wrong in this case. You should be cautious when dealing with a gigantic Asian Hornet. With an LD50 value of 4 mg per kilogram, a small colony might quickly kill someone weighing 155 pounds. The venom of the Asian giant hornet has already taken the lives of several people in Japan due to its deadly ability to cause kidney failure. Now if you think a hornet that flies away on its own isn't deadly, you're mistaken again. According to specialists, the sting feels like being stabbed with something extremely hot, and the sensation lasts for a few days. By the way, I'm not trying to terrify anyone, but this species isn't only present in East Asia. In 2019, it was discovered in Washington, and it has the potential to spread throughout the United States. Will the murder hornet sting unnecessarily? This hornet won't sting unless provoked. But if you try to trap, kill, spray, or otherwise disturb them, your chances of being stung increase dramatically. If they feel threatened, they will defend themselves by attacking, just like most hornets. Notify your state department of agriculture or state apiarist right away if you see live Asian giant hornets or suspect a nest. Don't try to handle an Asian giant hornet nest by yourself. If you find a dead Asian giant hornet, carefully collect the insect for the authorities. European Dark Bee If you enjoy honey, be aware that the bee family has a dark night. Dark bees have been present for over a million years, from the Pyrenees to Scandinavia. They are lively, clever, and tough. They are black-brown in color and much bigger and darker than other European subspecies with a massive and voluminous belly. Even the most experienced beekeepers consider the European Dark Bee a highly aggressive and difficult-to-manage species. As you may have seen, this insect was named for its dark and largely black body colors. However, it isn't the most frightening feature of this insect. Its LD value is 2.5 mg per kilogram, and it causes nausea, cramping, and hypotension. However, being stung by this bee is like playing Russian roulette, since while it took up to 100 stings in some circumstances to kill a human, in other situations, only one sting was enough to produce fatal anaphylactic shock. If your walk for taking honey goes wrong, I doubt you'll be able to count bees. But if you feel you're hypersensitive to its venom and reside in Europe or North America, you should buy honey from the supermarket. Setsi Flies Setsi flies are the most dangerous biting insects found in Africa. They mostly feed on vertebrate blood, and they inject each thread with a strong toxin by the extremely hazardous insects. Setsi flies are responsible for the deaths of an estimated half a million individuals in Africa. The venom of setsi flies causes sleeping sickness in the victim in the early stages. However, if not appropriately treated, it can be fatal. Setsi flies cause humans to be infected with a disease called African trypanosomiasis, also known as sleeping sickness. 
Symptoms of sleeping sickness include fever, severe headaches, irritability, intense weariness, swollen lymph nodes, and aching muscles and joints. After an infection has infected the central nervous system, it causes progressive disorientation, personality changes, and other neurologic disorders. Monarch Butterfly This species is known all around the world for its stunning orange and black colors. The monarch butterfly is primarily found in North America, but it migrates to Central America in the fall. It can also be found in Australia and other parts of Oceania. We could gaze at their beauty forever if it weren't for the fact that they're also highly deadly. According to Loyola University Maryland researcher David Rivers, these insects have the potential to kill people. But how? If you ever see them flying, keep your mouth closed because eating them can cause a heart attack as their toxins disrupt heart contractions and disrupt the nervous system. However, this venom does not belong to them. They get it from their favorite food, milkweed, which they have eaten since they were larvae. Interestingly, when a bird senses it has eaten a monarch butterfly, it realizes it's in danger and throws up to save its life. Wise Move Philippine Hornet If you were shocked by the Asian giant hornet, its cousin is far more dangerous. We'll give you 3 seconds to figure out where the Philippine hornet lives. 1, 2, 3. Philippines, obviously. This implies you can retake a deep breath because the insect is no longer close to you. Now, if you're in the Philippines and watching this video, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. The Philippine hornet has an LD50 of 1.6 milligrams per kilogram, making it the most deadly hornet on the planet. To put it another way, if you are stung by this creature, you can expect to spasm, urinate blood, and turn blue as your circulation fails. Still, we couldn't discover any records of deaths caused by the Philippine hornet. That may be because it prefers to nest in large trees, where no human is likely to approach thanks to its reputation. Phew! Spanish Fly Allow us to present to you the insect source of Viagra. No, we're not joking. In ancient Rome, the Spanish fly was used for this purpose, but only with caution because it's extremely toxic. It doesn't bite, but its legs generate cantharidin, a chemical that the insect distributes on its eggs to keep predators away. Humans, in their wisdom, devised the concept of slathering themselves in cantharidin, a chemical that dilates blood vessels. However, because the species has an LD50 value of 0.5 mg per kilogram, if a horse consumes four Spanish flies by accident, it will die because the venom causes urinary and gastrointestinal bleeding as well as kidney failure. Ferdinand the Catholic, who wished to have a night to remember and died, was the most iconic case of misuse. So if you're in Europe and see this insect, we highly suggest that you don't touch it. Ticks Everything present in nature has some place, but ticks, on the other hand, should be killed whenever and wherever they are found in nature. We mean it. Ticks can infect us with a wide range of pathogens, including bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. Furthermore, a single tick can transmit a variety of infections, making identification and treatment more difficult. Tick-borne disease research is still in its early stages. There are 16 of these disorders, with 4 of them being found in the previous 7 years. Lyme receives the most attention and rightly so, but Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is the deadliest, with a case fatality rate of 30% in untreated individuals. Case fatality rates of 4% have been documented even with therapy. Survivors may face lifetime problems due to their experience. North Carolina, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri are the states where Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is most common. Its symptoms are similar to those of other tick infections, including fever, headache, nausea and vomiting, muscle discomfort, and so on. There is no vaccination available, although antibiotics can be used to treat it. Maricopa Harvester Ant this insect from the southern United States is thought to have the most poisonous venom in the world. Its LD50 is 0.12 mg per kilogram. Fortunately, it appears that a single Maricopa harvester ant has insufficient poison, as it takes 12 stings to kill a 4.4-pound rat. Still, if you get stung near ant colony, forget about your plans for the night because your body is infused with a pheromone that attracts more ants. But if you're allergic to its venom, that's it. You're dead. Even if you aren't allergic, you aren't in luck. The toxin affects your nervous, circulatory, and digestive systems, so your chances aren't much better. A sting can produce bruising and excruciating pain. Giant Silkworm Moth 
One of the last but definitely not the least in our countdown is the giant silkworm moth. The deadliest caterpillar of all is crawling over South America, notably in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. It's covered in hair that will make you feel intoxicated just by touching it. The venom of the gigantic silkworm moth causes pain and bleeding in the injured area, followed by a fever, vomiting, lung and cerebral hemorrhage, and kidney failure. In fact, people who don't obtain early treatment are 34% more likely to die. The most recent case in the province of Misiones, Argentina was that of 8-year-old Milton Duarte, who was playing soccer when he went to pick up the ball and rubbed his leg up against the animal, causing him to bleed profusely and die three days later. The only remaining hope appears to be a Brazilian-made serum, so good luck with that. Brazilian Wandering Spider Yeah, yeah. We know spiders are not insects, but that doesn't stop us from mentioning this deadliest insect-looking creature. Admit it or not, most of the people we know are common people living normal lives. They are not scientists who will keep this in their minds that spiders belong to the arachnid group and not the insect group. But jokes aside, this spider will obviously give you nightmares if you live in South America or Central America. You'll notice if a Brazilian wandering spider comes your way because it has a leg span of up to 7 inches. It's known as the banana spider because it occasionally shows up in banana shipments to other nations. These spiders love common spaces like houses, automobiles, shoes, boxes, and other areas where we spend most of our time. Brazilian wanderers are nocturnal hunters who prefer to hide rather than create a web during the day. They are members of the Phonutria genus, which means murderess in Greek. The Brazilian wandering spider is regularly listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most venomous spider. While they rarely kill humans, their bite is particularly toxic, causing severe burning, sweating and goosebumps, as well as high or low blood pressure, nausea, hypothermia, blurred vision, vertigo and convulsions, and obviously dead in most of the cases. We know you must be wondering where the scorpions are, the deadliest of them all. But mind you, scorpions are not insects. They are cousins of spiders. That's why they're not included in this list. But don't worry, we will definitely make a new video on this topic. So till then, wait for our videos. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates. And also, please tell us in the comment box if you have such a scary story related to these deadly and dangerous insects. Ciao!